Good morning, boys and girls. It is Mr. Rodriguez with math today. Well, yesterday we did the sums of three, and on Monday we did the sums of four. So today, I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to put the sums of five today. So for the sums of five, I'm going to do them in a vertical form instead of a horizontal because when you're adding and you're learning how to add usually they put it on a horizontal uh, vertical no horizontal sorry horizontal way so that you learn how to read your equation like if you were reading a sentence or a book but in math you can also add and subtract vertically which is what you're going to do when you get to kindergarten no, um, maybe first grade or second grade, that's when you start doing it vertically. So the first thing I'm gonna use is ducklings. And I'm gonna put my duckling here because I'm gonna start with the sums of five, starting with number one. Now the other sum is, I mean the other add-in, let me correct myself. The add-in is one and the add-in is four. So four. And the plus usually goes around here, so I'm gonna stick it around here, but it's usually next to the second add-in. So I'm gonna just put it around here so it doesn't fall. All right, usually there's a line here. That line means equal that's what it means but it's a line all right and one plus four one plus four equals what we said it before five so I'm gonna try to fit five ducklings here it's very important that you can see the visual because this helps you how to add Okay, you see five ducklings. That's the five ducklings of one plus four. But I can do another combination. I can do the combination of two. So I'm gonna take one of those ducklings and put it up here. And I'm gonna change the four to a three. Now it says two plus three equals, remember there's a line here, equals five, five ducklings. Still the sum of five, but a different equation, equation or a number sentence, okay? I can also flip this over and do it this way. I can actually leave these two here Add this duckling over here. Okay. And then it becomes three plus two equals, remember there's a line here. Three plus two equals five. All right. So that's my third set of sums of five. So now I'm going to change this completely. I'm going to put Hold on. I'm going to put four ducklings on the top and one duckling on the bottom. And it's going to look like this. So four plus one equals five. So those are the different ways of making sums of five. If you take your whiteboard and you put it vertical, like I did yesterday, you can start with zero. So zero plus five equals what? Five. One plus four equals five. Two 
plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 4 plus 1 equals 5. And in little small over here, I'm going to put 5. You see? 5 plus 0 equals 5. So those are your sets or equations or numbers for the sums of 5. This is how we do it in math. This is how they're going to teach you how to look for a pattern in a number. We'll talk about that at another time. But this is what you're going to be doing. You remember we did patterns with shapes and all of those things? Well, they're teaching you how to do that because in here, in math, you're supposed to be looking at patterns. So I'm going to try to do that tomorrow uh, for the next sum so it makes it easier for you to see it. Um, do practice the addition and uh, number sentence or equations. But before we leave, I need you to do some subitizing. This helps you also with addition. How many dots do you see? Yes, six. How many dots do you see? Pretty easy, one. And this one, five. How many dots do you see? Easy, zero. How many dots do you see? Seven. How many dots do you see? Two. Very good. How many dots do you see? Eight. Very good. How many dots do you see? Four. How many dots do you see? Hmm. Nine. How many dots do you see? Three. Good. And the last one? Ten. Very good. So subitizing helps you to do your addition. This helps you with the combinations of fives, of fours, of threes, and we'll see how you get this, okay? Practice, 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 and you'll get better at this. And by the time you get to kindergarten, they'll be like, oh, this is a piece of cake, Mr. Rodriguez taught me all of this. So have a great day. Enjoy the sunny, partly cloudy day. And um, I'll see you then. If you have any questions, please text and send me your pictures. All right. Have a great day. Bye.